Do you know that Turkey has been a key U.S. ally since Ottoman time? The U.S.-Turkey friendship dates to 1831, when the United States established diplomatic relations with the Ottoman Empire. After World War I and the founding of the Turkish Republic, the United States established diplomatic relations with the Republic of Turkey in 1927. The Economic and Technical Cooperation Agreement, signed July 12, 1947, between the United States and Turkey, advanced the relationship further. The agreement implemented the Truman Doctrine and its policy to support free peoples who are resisting attempted subjugation by armed minorities or by outside pressures. The U.S.-Turkey bond has been a beautifully complex mosaic, crafted over decades of cooperation, challenges and evolving dynamics, remnants of powerful alliances established during the Cold War, and shared strategic visions laid a solid groundwork. However, divergent perspectives on regional issues, the Syrian civil war and Kurdish groups, have tested the strength of this bond lately. U.S. officials are striving to adapt and grow with the changing nature of U.S.-Turkey relations. In this video we will speak about these complex relations. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, Intel Prime, to nurture our ever-growing audience. American policy analyst Stephen A. Cook offers guiding insights to U.S. policymakers. Foremost, it's crucial to acknowledge the evolution of the U.S.-Turkey relationship from lukewarm allies to adversaries. This transformation calls for a shift in U.S. expectations, demanding less from Turkey and nurturing other strategic avenues. According to Cook, consideration of alternatives to Incirlik Air Base is paramount. The strategic partnership characterized the exceptionally close economic and military relations between 1952 to 2010-S. The 2010s were a period of deterioration over the U.S. policies in Syria. In 2020, Turkey was added to Katza, and the partnership worsened from ambivalent allies of the 2010SS to antagonists. U.S. officials ought to ensure that American security interests are immune to the fluctuating interests of Turkish politics. Additionally, the U.S. is still to resist Turkey's appeal to sever its military ties with the YPG. The YPG has proven instrumental in combating the Islamic State and stabilizing northeastern Syria, but also a destabilizing factor for Turkish domestic policies. Abandoning the YPG could potentially tarnish Washington's image as a steadfast ally. On the other hand, it can lose Turkey as a partner and ally. The United States also reconsidered its cooperation with Turkey on the F-35 program, but it did not bring harm to Turkey, which started building its project for fifth-generation plane Ka'an. As per the Department of State 2023, Turkey has embodied a key ally for U.S. policy in the adjoining region. It is aligned with the U.S. for security in Afghanistan ISAF, and has served as NATO's critical eastern southern anchor, overseeing by international convention the Straits of the Bosporus and the Dardanelles. The future of this collaboration demands astute adaptation, trust-building and strategic re-evaluation. Syrian civil war, U.S. support for Kurdish forces in Syria, specifically the PYD, clashed with Turkey's concerns about Kurdish separatism and its designation of the PKK, linked to the PYD, as a terrorist organization. On October 12, 2023, President Biden declared, particularly the actions by the government of Turkey to conduct a military offensive into northeast Syria, undermines the campaign to defeat the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, or ISIS, endangers civilians, and further threatens to undermine the peace, security, and stability in the region. Following this declaration, President Biden re-established an executive order, which stated Turkey is an unusual and extraordinary threat to the national security and foreign policy of the United States constituted by the situation in and concerning Syria. Following the 2023 Ankara bombing, Turkish intelligence officials established that the assailants arrived from Syria by paraglider, where they had been trained. Six days before the declaration, Turkey began bombing their facilities in Syria, October 2023. Northern Syria clashes and bombing of terrorist YPG targets continued. Failed coup attempt. The 2016 coup attempt in Turkey further complicated relations, with Turkey accusing the US of harboring Fethullah Gulen, the alleged mastermind. In a short couple of years, Turkey saw a shifting of NATO powers to its western neighbor. Anadolu Agency reported growing U.S. military presence in Greece can lead to undesired scenarios in the Aegean, deploying more U.S. troops to Greece would disrupt NATO's powers. F-35 program Turkey's expulsion from the F-35 fighter jet program due to its acquisition of Russian S-400 air defense systems added another layer of tension. 
On December 18, 2018, Turkey received its first installment of the Russian S-400 missile defense system on the 12th of July 2019, just short of six months after the U.S. breakthrough. The Patriots were offered to replace the Russian ordinance was 3.5 billion U.S. dollars while Turkey paid 2.5 billion U.S. dollars for the S-400 EM. On July 31, 2019, the United States decided to end the F-35 deal. Acting Defense Secretary Patrick M. Shanahan had warned Turkey that such a deal with Russia risks undermining its ties to NATO. The U.S. also threatened Turkey with Katza sanctions over Turkey's decision to buy the S-400 missile defense system from Russia. The Turkish people expected the United States to unequivocally condemn the attack from PKK and Russian-backed Assad and express solidarity with Turkey's elected leadership. It did not. The United States' reaction was far from satisfactory. Instead of siding with Turkish democracy, United States officials cautiously called for stability and peace and continuity within Turkey. To make matters worse there has been no progress regarding Turkey's request for the extradition of Fethullah Gulen under a bilateral treaty. Efforts to mend ties, diplomatic efforts under the Biden administration have aimed to address the F-35 issue and broader challenges in the relationship. The agreement of 40 F-16 given to Turkey is in the final stage. The war in Ukraine has introduced a new dynamic with Turkey playing a balancing act between supporting Ukraine and maintaining amicable relations with Russia. In 2019, Turkey was the United States' 28th largest goods export market and its 32nd largest supplier of goods imports. Turkey is the seventh largest purchaser of U.S. liquefied natural gas exports worldwide and an emerging regional energy hub. The top categories of U.S. exports to Turkey include aircraft, mineral fuels, iron and steel, machinery, and optical and medical instruments. The top import categories from Turkey include machinery, vehicles, carpets and other textile coverings, precious metals, stone, plaster, and cement. Reported U.S. direct investment in Turkey is led by manufacturing, wholesale trade, and finance and insurance. Managing divergent interests. Both countries face the challenge of reconciling their strategic interests in the region while maintaining the U.S.-Turkey alliance. Kurdish issue. Finding a solution to the Kurdish question that addresses both Turkish security concerns and Kurdish aspirations remains a critical unresolved issue. Building trust. Rebuilding trust and fostering open communication will be essential for overcoming past grievances and strengthening the long-term partnership. The U.S.-Turkey relationship continues to navigate complexities and challenges. While recent efforts to engage in dialogue offer a glimmer of hope, finding common ground on critical issues requires a commitment to diplomacy, mutual respect, and a shared vision for regional stability. Join Intel Prime Channel membership today and get access to exclusive benefits, including Early access to new videos. Exclusive discounts on Intel products. Behind the scenes content. Live chat with me and other members. Other options will be soon available. Thank you for your support and for helping Intel Prime grow.